If you want to get more consistent leads and great customers to your business, today's video is for you. Now, one of the most effective ways that I've been able to fill my coaching roster and find aligned clients for my business is through having my own newsletter audience. And a newsletter audience is an asset that you own and it's part of your business. It's not dependent on uh, the ever-changing algorithms of social media, right? For people to find and see your work and your content. Uh, and most importantly, it really supports you in building genuine relationships with a community of people that that will become clients, referrals, and raving fans of your work. If we are meeting for the first time, I am Lydia Lee. I am a work reinvention coach and a solopreneur strategist at Screw the Cubicle. And my job is to help you create a meaningful business that you love, that's designed from your strengths, your values, and your personality type. So if you wanna be in the know for every new episode that I release on this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell button so that I can keep you in the know and whenever you can join me on these videos. So today I'm gonna to dive into how to grow your newsletter and email list audience, even if you're just starting out for the first time. Now, before you think about inviting subscribers to your newsletter, you just wanna take a necessary pause here to ground yourself on what you want your intention uh, and purpose of your newsletters to be about and how you're gonna create engaging content that people want to read and come back for. So you wanna be considering how you will be producing helpful and valuable uh, newsletters that are aimed to inspire or solve active problems from your specific audience. And what's also really important is staying consistent in producing and delivering these newsletters. It's not a, I'll just do it when I feel like it kind of activity. It's an activity that is what your audience relies on you for, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly expectation of your newsletters. Now, I did a whole other video on how to create an engaging newsletter that people want to actually read, uh, and you can find it and one of the top things that are popping up on the video here is the link to the other video so that you can dive into that. Uh, I show examples of different types of newsletters, ideas for content that you can generate in your newsletters, uh, and you wanna watch that video after this one uh, to make sure that you too are planning a purposeful newsletter to be producing. All right, tip number one for growing your newsletter audience is a simple one, but I find that not a lot of people do it. Um, and that is actually just tapping into your current social circles, your networks, your current relationships uh, that you've already built equity <laughs> and a reputation in. Uh, a lot of us just end up not sharing our new business or not sharing that we are starting a new business to just the people that know us best because we want to be big and perfect before we do such a thing. Um, and I would encourage you to actually keep your friends and family in the know because these are probably going to be one of the inaugural people that are going to support your newsletter. And it's great to tap into that network to get them to also be sharing your newsletter with their communities as well. So you would want to be courageous and be willing to ask, right, for the people that want to support you, that are waiting to support you and tell them that you're starting a new business, you have a new newsletter that these are the purposes for, and I would love your support in sharing that and spreading the vision and the word for me. And you can do this through personal messages. It doesn't have to be a sleazy, spammy email <laughs> that you blast to 100 people. If anything, a curated network of people that are uh, aligned with your values, will be full supports and advocates of your work, will be the best people to go after. Maybe that's 10 people, maybe 20 people on your Rolodex or your network uh, that you might want to tap into, right? So send a personal message, tell people about why you're excited to launch your business, what you're excited to be sharing in your newsletter and what are the types of community members you're really looking for to be involved in your newsletter community. So here is a great example of a template that I've used to share newsletters. So something I share with my clients that has helped them to increase subscribers for the newsletter. So take a peek here that you can swipe and look uh, use for yourself as well as an invitation uh, for people to join your newsletter. Here's a quick and easy template you can use to create personal invitations to your low-hanging fruit network like your friends and your family. So hi, put your name here, some exciting news. 
I've decided to, and then here's where you insert your reason to start your business. What's your intention? What was behind your decisions to start the business that you love? And I'm really excited about sharing my gifts beyond the nine to five. I just recently launched a free newsletter to share resources and helpful advice for, and here's where you can put a couple of points about the main core problems that you solve in your business. I would like to invite more awesome people to my newsletter community. If you or anyone else you may know who can benefit from this, feel free to join me here. And here's where you insert your newsletter link. I appreciate your support. All right, so here at the end here in the PS section, I like to add a little something personal, right? Ask them what's new with them, maybe point out something uh, cool that they're doing in their life. Genuinely just check in on your friend or the person you know, and it just makes this personal message a little bit more human. Okay, hope that helps for you to create your invitations too. Tip number two for growing your newsletter audience is to consider offering a free mini gift, a little taster of what it feels like to work with you right from the get-go. So in the beginning of time, people may not yet know about your brand, what makes your business unique. So you want to show your work by offering this little free gift as a mini experience about what it feels like to work with you. Uh, and that's going to really encourage people to not just sign up for a newsletter on someone that they don't know on the internet, but really offer value straight from the get-go and solve a tiny FAQ, a tiny pain point that is in the way uh, for your clients to reach a particular goal that they're looking to reach. And so what is your little appetizer, right? Your free gift appetizer to wet the whistle of your clients? Well, really think about some of the most common FAQs, most common questions that arise from your clients. That if you know if they can get clarity in this one little problem, it helps to move the needle, right? And helps them to get um, a little bit of motivation, right? Energizes them towards wanting to learn more about accomplishing a bigger goal with you. Think about uh, some of the top questions that are being asked by either clients, potential clients, even reading blogs and articles online about your, your niche and your industry can perhaps gives you, give you a few clues about what is that inaugural pain point that could really help your clients to feel that they can trust that you are the right person to help them and really be generous and give them that answer, give them that clarity and pathway to that answer. Uh, and I think that's truly, truly good going to help uh, build this commi committed community for you, okay? A couple of um, mini gift ideas that you can think about is like a mini course. You could do a quiz. Uh, you could do um, maybe a workbook or a, a journaling template if you are a coach or a service-based provider that specializes in that area. You could give people um, some tips for assessing or auditing their business if you are let's say a VA or an OBM there's so many great ideas of just clearing the path slightly for your clients in order for them uh, to feel curious about what more you can do for them tip number three for growing your newsletter audience is make it damn easy for people to sign up for your newsletter right you want to be people to be able to find you because you don't want to just manually tell people about your newsletter you want your platforms and your assets online to really direct people for how they can actually do more and go deeper with you uh, in a thing like your newsletter right so one of the uh, places i love putting a link to sign up for my newsletter or my free mini gift offer uh, is actually right in my email signature. A lot of people forget about this place and you're always emailing people, whether it's clients, partners, people, family, right? Anybody that could be on your email that you're emailing every day. And that is a great spot to actually make sure that people know that you have a newsletter or a free offer that people can sign up for. So I use a tool called Y Stamp. You can see it here in the screenshot here. It's a beautiful, um, you know, attractive image of me, my business, links to my social channels and website, etc. And it also features uh, a, a new thing, right? A new webinar or a new training or sign up for my newsletter. Uh, that, And I actually really do get people signing up uh, using this this particular portal.
Another way to make sure that people are in the know about your newsletter sign up is to make sure that you have a link for it or a button for it uh, in the social channels you're using, whether it's on your Instagram profile, on your LinkedIn description, or maybe as a button, that primary button on Facebook, as an example. And don't forget, as you are creating really great content and valuable content that matters to the people you want to serve, you want to be embedding, you know, the sign up for your newsletter or your free gift to your newsletter on your blog posts. If you're doing videos on YouTube like me, you want to make sure that you also create that link in the description box under YouTube. So share it often, share it as often as you can as you're creating great content online. And that's going to be a great reminder for people to sign up for your newsletter and it'll help you to grow your audience. I hope that it was a valuable video for you today to start really thinking about these three tips that are very doable for you, even if you have a small audience or you're just simply starting out in growing your email list or your newsletter audience list. And I would love to learn from you. What was sort of one of the biggest tips that you want to execute and implement right now after you watch the video, because we want to put theory into practice. What's one tip from this video that you would love to take action on? Share it with me in the comments below. I would love to support you to do the thing um, and enjoy building your audience for your business.